वेलकम माई फ्रेंड्स एंड माई सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑफ मिस्टर मरीन गीक यूट्यूब चैनल एंड हेयर वी आर नेक्स्ट वीडियो द एग्जिट एग्जाम द एग्जिट एग्जाम द क्वेश्चन आर अ वेरी बेसिक वेरी ईजी फिफ्टी परसेंट पासिंग आउट ऑफ दर्टी क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू पास विथ ओनली फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन एस योर करेक्ट आंसर्स एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी ईजी अफेयर Uh, based on your knowledge your experience etc but there are many problems it is these troubles the software issues the hardware issues which makes the exit exam a more uh, kind of a dreadful affair for each and every mariner on top of it the mtis the payment issues server issues the system issues etc is even more tedious and it makes the exit exam affair as the most dreadful one let's begin and split the exit exam into various parts right from the start till the end and we will discuss each and every trouble what each and every mariner is going to face while giving this particular exit exam so let's start go to dgshipping.gov.in as usual and then you can see on the right hand most tab the exit exam click on it and you are on the dgs exams dot in website which will be used for your exit exams just write in your indos number press login so after you have pressed the login button you will get an error message or you may getting a dialog box saying success the success dialog box is what is required and let's move on to the error how it looks like and how to solve it so this is how it looks like the warning message let's zoom in you are not authorized so let's see the you are not authorized error and why it is flashing the candidate is not due for exam if you are not permitted to sit we have not done any courses and unnecessary you have coming on this particular website and writing your login so you are not allowed to do that the training institute where you have done your tier 2 course has not made the payment for your attempt for doing that exit exam so i would suggest you to call the mti and sort it out you your timings uh for your exit exam is only between 10 am and 5 pm and uh, you cannot do it it is an unauthorized time your tier 2 virtual online classes are still going on uh you can write the exam on the last day of the course but within 30 days but you are giving in between the course due to which the error message will come as you are not authorized please take care that for any reason you are fail or due to logging out due to minimizing window browsing any other window or changing a person while giving an exit exam for any reason it becomes fail then you have to pay for your second and third attempt and the mti will do that payment to dg shipping and if the mti doesn't do that again you will get the same error as you are not authorized this is how it looks when it is successful you will see okay and then we are into the system on the left hand side you can see profile and os number and all and on the right hand side you will be able to see the instructions you have to follow prior giving the exit exam so let's go there so after logging in you will be able to see that there are some instructions given on the right hand side so let's check it out click download button and then click 
on save file double click to start the software write your endos number click enter button and then come back over here and click the refresh button and then after that if all okay you can proceed to give your exit exam so let's do that please uninstall all your webcam sharing softwares screen sharing softwares antivirus and windows defender prior installing this particular dgs secure software so let's click download dialog box will appear save file and it will be saved at the folder open the folder so you just open the folder where you are having the downloaded file click on the file which has been downloaded it will ask you to input your endos number just write in your endos number press enter and that's it so after the activation of the software all good you will just refresh the browser and you will be able to see the course the exit exam what you are supposed to be giving just select that course and press on take test and it will open this particular box which gives you more information how much is the total questions the passing questions what is the marks per questions and additional information switch on your web camera or give a permission to start your web camera over here it will fetch the details over here and the left one is your live image just give the authorization click on the take photograph if it is all okay proceed to take the test and the test starts as you can see live it's a 30 minutes test this is a live exit exam going on and i will just skip in as fast as possible over here so this is how the result will look like at the end of your exit exam uh, which says exam result as pass and if the candidate is failed uh, this is how it will look like when it is failed so additional data what happens out of the 30 minutes the last 5 minutes is remaining the timer where it shows you the time starts flashing in red color so we will just increase the speed of the recording come to 5 minutes and now you can see that the moment the time remaining is less than 5 minutes the timer starts flashing which is a good warning it acts as a warning that your time is about to end whatever the exit exam you are doing uh, do it fast the same flashing keeps on continuing till the time ends but uh, it is understood so i am not going to continue with this just wanted to tell you that it starts flashing after 5 minutes silent features of this exam understand the software first 
you have to select an answer when a question is presented to you and then press on the next button that means the next button doesn't appear unless you select one answer you cannot go to your next question unless you select an answer once you press the next uh, button you will be getting the next question so you cannot come back to your previous question you cannot change the previous given answer you cannot skip any time that particular question to return back so this is going to make your exit exam experience very bad if you have given a mock test which is of course not necessary to give but i would recommend you to give because it just does a software check a background check with your wi-fi with your system what you have etc etc i have already discussed the two errors you are not authorized error and the screen sharing app is working in the background both of these errors have multiple troubleshootings and both of them have been discussed in brief in the video the timings will be given in the description below so let's begin with the errors and troubleshooting the error number one invalid endorse number error number two login after 30 minutes the ip address is blocked and the most notorious dll error so when you write your law endorse number your login id press enter and this is what you get back as the error citing invalid endorse number so the batch details were not uploaded for you by the mti for this particular candidate and there was some error while uploading or there were some server issues so the so now the job is with the mti they have to do all the things so please contact the mti for this error citing that i am getting this error as endorse number is invalid so they have to do all the necessary things from their end so let's uh So let's start with the next error. The IP address is blocked. A very common error 
in these times. This is how it looks when you try to log in and this is the dialog box which clearly mentions IP address is blocked. So let's begin with the third error that is your IP address is blocked and this actually happens if you are giving more than one exit exam per day. So you have to just uh, switch off your Wi-Fi router and switch on after let's say like one minute or so so that it assigns a new IP address for your machine and if you have two Wi-Fi networks at your home you can shift to another Wi-Fi network or you can even shift to uh, your mobile hotspot and if you are already giving it from the mobile hotspot they can you can use an another mobile phone or another Wi-Fi network so basically your IP address will get changed so once you are on the new wireless network, new mobile hotspot, just clear your browsing history of your web browser, re-login, give your next exam, repeat the same procedure if you want to give a third, fourth or your next exit exam as the case may be or you can even wait for one day to give your next exit exam. Let's go to the next fourth error, DLL error and we will see in the brief how to deal about it the dlr error which some of you might face complete video has already been uploaded the link is given over here there are other errors as well a person can find out and those troubleshooting measures is clearly given on the dgsexams.in website please do check that out the errors what i have mentioned the troubleshooting was not of that quality and of course if you have any trouble the dgs exam website also has the email ids where you can send an email for your troubleshooting technical support etc so please do check that Please join my telegram group. The links of my telegram group are also in the description below. A lot of effort was given in making this video to happen. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. And it is a wonderful uh, gift from you all of your fellow mariners in the past also i have mentioned this channel is by a mariner of the mariner and for the mariners and it will be continuing to be so please do write in the comment section what topic next video you would like to see on marine geek channel